I think the most powerful uh, feature in Easy GUI is its graphic capabilities. And, and, and while it may seem kind of low level in some instances, it, it, it's very extensive. Uh, you know, compared to, uh, for example, the uh, graphic command set in, uh, in, in the Power Basic, the, the more current versions of Power Basic Compiler, it has all those basic features, but it goes far beyond that. Uh, for example, there's a feature in Windows that's an extremely powerful feature. It's called a dip section. And, and in as simple terms as possible, what a dip section is, is, is it's a Windows bitmap that you can access the, the, the pixel data directly. And, and while, uh, for example, the PowerBasic compiler gives you the ability to, uh, uh, to copy the pixels into a buffer, manipulate them, and copy them back, uh, the dip section allows you to actually access the bitmap directly. You don't have to move data to read it and manipulate it. It's a very powerful feature. So my Canvas control has the ability to allow you to select different types of uh, background buffers, 16-bit, uh, 24-bit, or 32-bit dip sections, which allows you to manipulate pixels directly. And, and, and you might say, well, what did I use that for? Well, a perfect example is a person could uh, implement an image filter. You know, uh, I have a very simple piece of code and a, and, and, uh, with the samples that come with the, with the product that demonstrates a simple image filter where I can... Uh, have you ever seen those like photo editing programs where like you take a, a color photo and you, you make it grayscale or then you might go to grayscale and then you give it a, a, a what I call like a, a, a filtered color, you know, uh, it, like, a, like it, it's all one color uh, scale, but it's it's like instead of like all grays, it's like all blues or all uh, reds. You know, it gives like a tint to it, kind of gives an old-fashioned look to a photo. Okay, well, it's easy to do. It's very very easy to do with my canvas control. But I went further. Uh, one of the things that I did with the canvas control, which is really powerful, is I added a 2D sprite engine. Now the term sprite, I don't know if people use it a lot today. I, I you know. It's a dated term. I, I, it goes back to the days of when I used to work with uh, 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 the Commodore and Atari. And uh, I think it was a term that was thrown around on the Atari. Uh, you know, they're movable objects that aren't rectangular. They were called sprites and one color pixel. Can, you, know, you can see through it, be transparent and all that. Uh, you know, so I built a sprite engine, which are basically images that can be moved around. One color is transparent, so it's, it's non-rectangular. But the, the sprite engine is actually really powerful. I mean, you can move images around, you can alpha blend them so they it almost look like see-through glass. Uh, you can anti-alias the edges of them. Uh, you can flip them horizontally and vertically. Uh, you know, you can move them around the screen. Even even has collision detecting. Okay, that almost sounds more like a game engine. You think, well, did I build Easy GUI to be a game engine? Well, you could build. You know, basic 2D games with easy going. There's no reason you couldn't. I designed it for general use. You see, the canvas control is a simple graphic control. And the sprite engine is considered a graphic feature of that control that can be used for anything. And so, you know, let's say uh, you were trying to uh, build some kind of custom control in your application that maybe emulates some piece of machinery or something like that and you say how am I going to do well you could animate it somehow you know and the sprites can even be animated with frames so you you can implement some uh, a pretty fancy animation and so forth with it with this control I think a basic concept in easy GUI was uh, I don't know if, if, if like me if you've ever uh, when you were a child, like to play with uh, building blocks. You know, there's all sorts of, you know, there's the wood building blocks, like they look like logs, and you got Legos and those, those little lock in blocks. And you, you, then you had the, the ones that were like, uh, they were like these little round things with holes in them, and they had uh, little spikes that go in them, you know, all sorts of little different building kits that you can get as kids. And the idea was give you enough parts that you could build almost anything. Well, Easy is kind of like that has many high-level features, has many low-level features. But the features were designed more with the idea of building blocks rather than always some, uh, you know, high-level final control, you know. Uh, 
you, you, if you've ever gone to some of these uh, websites of these companies that sell uh, ActiveX controls and they got all sorts of different fancy controls to do all these fancy things. And people say, well, I like the looks of that one. And then they get it and they... And then all of a sudden they say, well, you know, it does like 90% of what I wanted to do, but it's just not quite exactly what I wanted. Well, you're stuck with what you have. Because you're buying an extremely high-level object, you know, or tool, a control. But the EasyGU was designed with kind of, you know, low-level, medium-level, high-level features all built into an en single integrated engine so that wherever you wanted something a little unique and different, you could turn around and say, well, I could build it. Now you may say, well, I'm not going to build a custom control from scratch. Well, EasyGUI has so many features that it allows you to what would have been normally complex to do directly using the Windows IPA and building from scratch. You can customize and, and kind of almost create your own controls with, you know, I don't know, maybe 10% of the effort it would have taken to actually create from scratch. One of these engines in EasyGUI is uh, 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 the Owner Draw engine. Uh, which basically takes advantage of a thing called owner draw in Windows, which like, for example, you can have a list box, but you can actually draw each item instead of Windows displaying it. So you can make it look any way you want. You can even have different sizes for each item uh, as far as the height. It's not that hard to implement with EasyGUI. The Windows API is a little complex, but EasyGUI has, this, has the ability to build things. And that's where its power really lies. Uh, the other thing that uh, it really is a, is a powerful aspect of, of the, the, the product is its integration of features. For example, there's multiple ways you can draw things. For example, I have a canvas control you can draw into. The owner draw engine you can draw into controls to customize their look. Uh, there's a print engine that you need to draw things in the, into uh, on a printer. Uh, and there's also a thing in, in Windows called drawing on a DC, which is, a, DC stands for device contact, which is a fancy term that basically means that Windows gives you an area and says, okay, you can draw on it. So you can actually draw on the desktop of your computer. You can draw on top of other, other, other windows, you know, they may not like it, but you could do it if you wanted to. Uh, you can even copy, you know, for example, when you press print screen on your, on your keyboard, you know, that's where they're actually, instead of drawing, they're reading. They're, they're reading the desktop screen and copying it to a bitmap. Uh, well, EasyGUI, it, it, if there's a function in it that could be used in a variety of situations, wouldn't it make more sense to create a single core function and then build on it for all these other areas? So, for example, EasyGUI has a core graphic engine. But this core graphic engine is implemented in the print command set, it's implemented in the canvas control command set, it's implemented in the DC drawing command set, which is for used for uh, owner draw, uses a, a window DC to draw into. And by using this core graphic engine, which is accessible by all these other, other uh, areas in, in the runtime engine, it, it, it reuses a lot of code which makes it more well tested because of, you know I, I've refined the, the the graphic core graphics, but I'm using it in different areas. So it's like this building block concept. I keep building on what was there. A good example of that is uh, an easy GUI for uh, two new uh, custom controls: the property list box control and the files list box control. Uh, they weren't written from scratch. Okay. It would have took a long time to do that. I mean, you can do it, but it would have took a long time to write a, a custom, what they call a custom window class uh, uh, from scratch using the Windows API. So what I did is I took advantage of EasyGUI's building blocks. I said, well, a property list box and a files list box are basically similar to a list box. They just have a little bit different pictures in them. You know, the, the items are different. And they need to respond to mouse clicks in a little different way. But other than that, they're not much different than a list box. Well, you see, GUI has an owner draw engine in it, has a graphic engine in it. So I built a custom window uh, class or control using owner draw list box, uses easy GUI's owner draw engine to draw into that list box. And then added a few little tweaks here and there using the Windows API under the hood there to, to add, like, you know, if you, you know, 
for example, the files list box, you know, you're reading a, a, a folder, you know, all the files in a folder on a hard drive, so, you, you know, it needs to fill it. So, you know, it wasn't too hard to write that code under the hood. But I, I, I built those controls, not from scratch, but I built them using the building blocks that were already in the GUI engine. So, it's this building block concept which really makes easy GUI an extremely powerful tool. If you're just doing simple stuff and, and you don't really need anything fancy in your programs, Easy GUI may not offer you a lot. But if you're one of those developers that you're always trying to push the limits of your software, you always want to, you, you got to do it a little different. You need something custom that, that others don't have or you need it unique to your situation, and, and especially if it's graphic oriented, well, that's where Easy GUI becomes really powerful and that's where it beats the competition.